Hi, right, welcome to Johnny Works. Today I am teaching how to cut 45 degree angles, the most basic angle you can cut. Okay? Maybe you went out and bought a miter saw or a skill saw and uh, you're ready to get your feet wet. Always wear your glasses, watch out for your fingers. Okay, make sure no kids are around, don't leave that thing plugged in and uh, let's get ready to go. First thing, before we even cut anything, go buy one of these right now. Literally leave right now, go buy one. This is a speed square, okay? Under 10 bucks. I forget, seven, eight bucks, whatever it is. Okay, buy one of these bad boys. It's got a 45 degree angle already on one side, the other side square, that's my 90, okay? This will be your best friend for marking. Ahead of time, so if you're looking at a new project you're working on, you can mark it ahead of time with your pencil, what direction you want that thing to look. Go over to your saw, lay that thing down, get ready to cut, and then look at it and say, hmm, is that the right way I'm going? Am I going the right way? <clears throat> All right, so this right here is two feet. Two feet long, short to short. Okay, if you do not know what that means, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, 45 degree angles on both ends. All right, from this point right here, this would be called a short point. And or if I went the other direction, say I'm walking this way, or I'm facing this way, this is called the short point, okay? The, the point of the board that you're cutting, if it sticks out farther than the other one, see how it's on an angle, one's longer than the other? This long measurement will be called long point. And the short measurement's called short point. And it's the same on both sides, okay? Put it down flat with the 45 side towards the end of my board and make a pencil line, okay? On a 45 degree angle, all right? All right, sliding it over here, lining up my blade with my pencil mark. Frame sky hook. From that point, or from, I should say, from this long point, I would hook my tape and come over 24 inches, okay? Once I make my 24 inch mark, grab my speed square again, okay? Now, I see the angle coming back towards me, okay? Now, if I wanna go long to long, I hooked on that long point, I made a mark, and now, I'm gonna, and now instead of uh, hooking, I'm gonna put my speed square right on that mark. I'm gonna make sure that the angle is, is going back towards the other angle because I want it to go long to long, okay? Long point to long point, okay? Make my pencil mark, look at it for a second. All right, the long point's up here, the long point, both of them are on the same side of the board. The, the board's going this way and this way towards each other, okay? So that must be long to long, okay? So, as my father-in-law is yelling at me, hey, I need that thing, 24 inches, or 45s, long to long, on the flat, okay? This is on the flat. If I cut it this way, it'd be more like a bevel cut, okay? Without grabbing the trigger, line up my blade, hold my piece down, watch my fingers. And here we go. Forty-five degree, long to long. And I could do what they call bevel. All right. So I undo the lock, and I can bevel my saw. Lock it in. Now I'm locked in at 45 degrees on a bevel. Okay, and so instead of straight cut, even straight cut on an angle, now I'm on a bevel. So now when I cut this angle, it's on a bevel, okay? See this board right here? That's a bevel. A long point, and this one's my short point. Just like it was when I had it on the flat like this, but now I cut it on a bevel. So now my box is gonna be this deep, okay? So if my father-in-law, Big Joe, wanted a 24 long to long, I would hook here, pull all the way over with my tape measure till I got to 24 inches, and I'd make a little pencil mark like I did, take my speed square and make a little angle. Now I know that I'm going the right way. Finger there, and now I'll mark this with my speed square.
Hook on that to whatever measurement you want. If I want to go two feet, I go two feet, 24 inches, okay? Make a pencil mark. Grab my speed square, okay? If I want to go long point to long point, I'm gonna go backwards towards my other one. If I want to go long to short, I put the 45 ahead of my mark. I run my square until I just about make it to that mark. And now this would be considered long to short. Okay, it's gonna be the same angle in both directions like this. Long to short, okay, 24 to 24, long point to short point, okay, flip it around, it's the same thing, long point to short point. All right, today on Johnny Works, I'm going to teach you how to cut angles. I don't know why I just grabbed my hammer like we're going to fight, but uh, I grabbed my hammer. Anyway. All right, today I'm going to teach you how to cut the most basic. Clamp, clamp, clamp. Cold lamping, cold, cold clamping. You don't have your grandpa's old uh, handsaw where your arm goes tight halfway through it. You're like, oh, I got my tight over here. Okay. <clears throat> All right, today we're going to teach uh, the most basic 45.